So now let us take the next example. Uh, we have to tell whether the following decomposition is functional dependency preserving or not. So assume we are having the relation R, A, B, C, D, E and G. The following are the functional dependencies which are given. First A, B determines C, A, C determines B, A, D determines E, B determines D and BC determines A and E determines G. These are the functional dependencies which are given. Now they are saying we broken this relation into three relations which are A1, R1 which is ABC which is having ABC as attributes. Second relation is R2 which is having attributes as A, B, D, E and the third relation is R3 which is having the attributes as E and G. Okay. Now first of all let us check whether the following decomposition is lossless or not. To check whether it is lossless you can see in the first R1 and R2 AB is a common attribute so it should be a key attribute in at least one of the table. From this functional dependency you can say R1 is this AB is a key attribute in this table. Now check uh, whether R2 and uh, after combining these two we are going to get the attributes as A, B, C, D, E. Between this and this E is a common attribute so you have to check whether E is a key attribute in at least one of the table from this functional dependency you can say E is a key attribute in this table right so now see uh, whether before finding out the additional functional dependency whether see whether we can you know uh, divide the original functional dependency into this table and we can if we can divide them as it is right uh, without adding any additional functional dependency then we can say it, it can cover okay there's a there's a kind of a shortcut see that that shortcut will come with you uh, after practicing some questions now let me explain to you let me tell you what i'm saying again this is the functional dependencies which are already given already given functional dependencies now there are two ways of finding this first of all if you know that uh, uh, this following relation is broken down to three relations Either you can find what are the additional functional dependencies in uh, these three relations which are possible or if you can you know without missing any functional dependency if you can divide them as it is in these relations then we can say that they are functional dependency preserving because after union of them then we will get the original one that means you can see here a, determ a b determines c that is only valid for this table so we can say a b determines c is valid for this table a c determines c is also valid for this table right that is it, that is that means it is op only applicable here so we used these two next one is ad determine e so ad determine e is only valid on this table right next is b determine d that is only valid on this table right so that can only be used in this table third one is bc determines a so bc determines a is only valid on this table the fourth one is e determines g is only valid on this table so you can see instead of adding any new functional dependency or instead of subtracting any new functional dependency we just divided the original functional dependency on these tables because they can or they can be applied on that certain table only so even if you do a union of all these then you will get exactly this one so you can say this decomposition is fd preserving this decomposition is fd preserving okay now let's take the next example in this next example they are saying we are having the following relation which is r a b c d e and these are the functional dependencies which are valid number one a determines b c number two c determines d e number three d determines e out of these functional dependencies they are saying this relation is broken down to two relations r1 which is having a b c d and second one is r2 which is having d e now you have to tell whether these two decompositions are fd preserving or not to tell first of all tell uh, whether they, they are uh, you know uh, lossless or not you can see to check lossless you can see d is a common attribute here and in this table d is a key attribute because of this functional dependency now can we divide the above functional dependency in the below functional dependency without making any changes so this dependency is only valid on this so a determines bc can be written here and this dependency is only valid on this d determine e can only be written here and if you take this functional dependency now this can be broken down to two parts that is c determines d and c determines e now this c determines d is valid on this table so you can write c determines d but c determines e is not valid on this table as well as it is not valid on this table right so we cannot write c determines e so after you know uh, uh, dividing them we are getting the functional dependence in the first table as a 
determines BC and C determines D. In the second table, we are getting uh, D determines E. D determines E. Now we have to tell whether this recomposition is FD preserving or not. That means how can you say it is FD preserving? If you take a union of all these, and if you take this one, can they cover each other or do they cover each other? So this set is noting A determines BC and C determines DE and D determines E. And this set is noting A determines BC, C determines D and D determines E. So you can see this is already there. So there's no point of comparing this. This is already there. So this is, there's no point of comparing this. So this is already covered here because C determines D is already covered here. But we only have to see whether C also determines E in this case or not. So how can you say C already determines E? You uh, check all this and you take C closure. So if you take C closure, C closure will give you C and from C we can get D and from D we can get E. So we are getting C D E. That means C determines E is also valid here. So this is and this is what we are getting through transitive dependency because here you can see C determines D and D determines E like this. So we can say C determines D. This is also valid. And this functional dependency is also covering this one, right? So that you can see both the functional dependencies are covering each other. Hence this decomposition is also lossless as well as it is dependency preserving. It is dependency preserving. Okay. So you can try some previous year questions on this. Now we'll move on to the next part. That is, we'll, we'll start the next part, which is normalization. And uh, normalization is a process of dividing some tables into a few tables, no, uh, some number of tables, so that we can uh, have, uh, you know, uh, we can bring the tables with minimum number of redundancies. Okay, let us look at that. Don't worry. Uh, uh, we can see how can we say a relation is unnormalized. How can you say the relation is one nf, two nf, three nf, four nf, bc nf, and five nf? So we'll see all of that. For uh, gate and UGC net, uh, they only asked question on one nf, two nf, and three nf. So we don't require four nf and five nf here. But I'll still going to cover that after the gate after this eleventh of February. So uh, we'll we'll cover you know um, bc nf also if it is required. But they never asked question on BCNF. So we'll be covering still, we'll be covering 1NF, 2NF, 3NF and BCNF. I'll just give a small introduction to BCNF. So this is the point where we can start normalization. So why we covered everything here? Okay, let me tell you a small story. There was a person named Chanakya. So Chanakya wanted to, you know, uh, invade or you can say wanted to win one uh, very big dynasty. So he prepared for 10 to 15 years and he attacked the dynasty and he failed miserably. He failed. He said that I, I prepared for so many times. I prepared so well and still I failed. Why did I fail? Then he, uh, you know, he came to depression. Now one day he saw that a mother was, you know, this is a mother and this is a child. Mother gave some, you know, uh, uh, rice to the child and the child was eating the rice. But he took a spoon from the middle and he ate it and, you know, uh, because the uh, you know, rice was really warm or you can say hot because of that he you know uh, uh, what, to, what should I say in Hindi I can say like uska uh, gaya so he burned his mouth <laughs> maybe so uh, the mother said that in, uh, you are fool you should have eaten this child from the end and then you in the end you should go to the middle you should have eaten like this right you should have eaten like this in this way uh, the outer portion of the rice is always cold so here in the same way uh, instead of attacking the middle i covered all the topics which are like this and now we'll come to the main topics like normalization so we covered all the topics which are related to normalization now we can discuss normalization very effectively because you will be able to understand everything related to the normalization okay